Hi everyone. So it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm making lunch. So it's a slightly earlier lunch for me comparing to most days, and I'm craving for soups. So this is a soup that I make on a regular basis because it's so simple. You can practically use any vegetables that you have in your kitchen, and I'm going to make it creamy and luxurious and totally heartwarming. So I've got some veggies here. And these are the vegetables I literally have in my kitchen today. So I've got some onions, some celery, a cup of courgette, and some carrots, and some butter mushrooms. All the usual suspects that I have on a regular basis. And then we're going to add some cream to it to make it super creamy. I can't wait. And when it comes to soups, best friend, that would be my crusty buns. And normally I just eat them as they are to go with the soups. But today I want some crunch. So I'm going to turn them into the most delicious garlic croutons. So I've been making these buns a lot, so I'm using the crusty buns. But I have recipes for different style of keto bread and using different types of ingredients. So I put the links below for your reference. They all work for the croutons. So I'm going to cut the bread into small cubes. So I'm going to cut it sideways here. So I don't want them too big. I want to cut them into small cubes, and just easier to get them crunchy. Oh, lovely. So I've got two buns in there. And then I want some garlic. Lovely. And here's my baking tray here. And with a layer of baking sheet on top, I'm going to just drizzle a generous amount of olive oil here, just enough to cover all the bread cubes. And I'm going to just put in my garlic here, and sprinkle some salt, and then I'm going to give it a mix. So this is like the paddling pool for the bread cubes. They're going to be very happy in there. And then just pop in the bread cubes, and toss everything together. And make sure all the bread cubes are covered by this gorgeous garlic infusion. Great! and they're ready to go into the oven. I'm going to bake them in about 180 degree preheat oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm going to take them out and give them a toss. And then I'm going to put them back in for a further three to five minutes. That normally does it. And they're going to be golden brown. And I'm going to get on with my soup. So all I'm going to do is chop up all my vegetables in small chunks. And what I've got here is a quite a generous size pot here. So I'm going to drizzle some olive oil in there and then turn the heat on. And I'm going to pop in my onion first. And just give it a stir. So I'm going to soften the onion first. This will give a really good foundation for the soup. And then my carrots and celery. So you put in the vegetables, they take longer to cook first. And then my mushrooms and my courgette as well. And then we're going to add some seasoning. I'm going to add some salt here, some pepper. And once all the veggies are kind of softened, I'm going to add in some water. So I'm using hot water so the temperature wouldn't drop. Just enough to cover all ingredients. And I'm going to just allow it to cook. And once it's come to the boil, I'm going to turn the heat down and allow it to simmer. Okay, so it's looking good. It's been simmering for a little bit, and uh, if the carrot is cooked, everything else is cooked. And now I'm going to blitz it. Mm. 
That's looking great. And now I'm going to add in my cream. So I'm using coconut cream. You can use coconut milk if you want to, or even you can use nut milk, soy milk, any kind of plant-based milk you like. But obviously coconut cream is going to make it more creamy. So that's a whole tin. And now I'm going to blitz it again. And now just gently bring it back to simmering and we're done. Right, the lunch is served. So I'm going to bring my soup, piping hot still. So creamy. And here's my croutons. It looks so lovely. Let me have a try. Mmm, totally crunchy garlic bread. Excellent. So I'm going to pop a few in. And then some fresh parsley. And a nice drizzle of the extra virgin olive oil. And then a few more croutons so I can top it up. There you go. That's my lunch ready. I'm going to dig in. I'm going to go for the soup first. So, so creamy. Wow. So creamy, so thick. And a crouton. Mmm. That's how I like my croutons. It's so good because I use slightly different vegetables every time. It's always a nice surprise. And with the seasoning, you really don't need to do much other than the salt and pepper because you've got so many wonderful ingredients and just sit back and allow them to do the job. So I hope you like my lunch and we'll give it a go. This soup is just so gorgeous and so easy to make. And uh, it's a great way to use up all the vegetables you've got in your kitchen. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and check out my Amazon shop. And if you like what I'm doing, you can buy me a coffee via buymeacoffee.com. So thank you for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, this soup is just gorgeous and velvety. Mm -hmm.